Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna mention some things today and talk about a few things with you guys on the market today. Uh, regarding team of the years, prices headed outwards of this promo because it is Sunday and that means that it's kind of towards the end of this promo. They extended team of the year like one day this year, keeping the cards in packs on Monday as well. So these cards are going out of packs on Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK. So they have an extra day compared to years past in packs but usually the weekend the weekend league sell-off and stuff like that these are kind of the times where we see a lot of special cards and a lot of stuff that is in packs um kind of hit its lowest right because maybe you have some people panic selling after their weekend leagues are done maybe you have some people um just trying to get their coins but liquid before the week maybe get some coins to go do an sbc and stuff like that. So I'm going to talk about some things today relating to these SBCs. We're going to talk about the Eden Hazard SBC that came today uh, and what else could come on, I guess, which is tomorrow when I'm recording this Sunday. What could come on Sunday um, for content in FIFA? So I want to talk about that as well and also talk about team of the year lows. When are these team of the years going to be their lowest? Have they hit those low points already? I think they actually have. I don't know if there's, they're going to go too much lower than where they were in some of the panic. Uh, I think it was on Thursday and Friday, you know, right during or before that 6 p.m. UK time, I think is when they actually hit their lowest. I don't know if they're gonna go lower than that, at least this week, maybe some, some, um, some panic in the future could change that. But I wanna start off by looking at uh, some of these cards right here, the team of the year. Cause I'm gonna, I, I think a few of these are gonna be treated differently. And I think a few of these cards are gonna react differently out of packs and I want to use kind of the example of the upgrade packs right I go on Twitter right now and I see a lot of people that are smashing upgrades I see people that are complaining about not packing any team of the years and they've spent they've opened hundreds of packs and I've seen people post pictures of Conte's I myself have packed two team of the year Conte's untradeable I had to put one of them into an SBC and I packed Allison as well and last year I spent about two million coins in upgrade packs and didn't pack squat so it seems this year that more people are packing team of the years from these upgrade packs and i think that's going to have an impact on some of these prices as we head out of team of the year specifically on a guy like allison trent basically all the premier league guys that you see getting packed a lot which would be allison robertson alexander arnold and almost i would i would almost include trent in this because i see uh, excuse me i would almost ex include conte in this because Conte gets packed a lot, to be honest. I see Conte's pop a lot. I don't see De Bruyne's, Van Dyke's, or, or Mane's pop that much. Every single, every every little often on Twitter, you know, you scroll through and you see one. But mostly it's the Conte, Allison, Robertson, and Alexander Arnold. And I think that since those cards got packed so much while they were these upgrade packs were out, I think that it's going to hurt their rise out of packs. I really do. I really do think it's going to hurt their rise out of packs because... Um, some of these cards, yes, they are very good, uh, but a lot of people have them untradeable because they ripped these upgrade packs or they they saved packs and they opened them and they were able to pack these cards untradeable. They just seem to have a higher drop rate. And you know, when people have those cards in their clubs already, they don't have to go out and buy those cards for their teams and spend coins to go do that. So their prices don't rise as much on the market. So Trent's just chilling kind of around 1.0 something. Uh, if you can get this guy around a million coins, I don't think there's going to be a lot of panic for this guy's player of the month SBC on Monday. I feel like that they shouldn't panic sell this card for that SBC. That SBC is going to be like probably 100 to 150k. Um, but this card is just miles and miles better than that one is. So I think this one, you know, maybe it takes like a 50k hit in price. I don't really think the player of the month will affect this card all that much. Just something that I was thinking about right now. Um, but one card I do think is going to rise out of packs. And this is a, a lot of people want to know when to buy Frankie de Jong. And I'm here today to tell you that, you know, I think the lowest price has already came and gone. Frankie de Jong hit a, like a low point of like 165. I saw a few of them in the listing on the panic. What was it on Wednesday or Thursday? Actually, it was Friday too. Thursday, his panic was a little bit lower. Let's take a look at this on Footbin. Thursday or Friday, his panic was low, but I think Thursday, his panic was a little bit lower right before the 6 p.m. drop um, when everybody was opening those packs on Thursday, kind of around that 6 to 7 p.m. time range. He might have hit his lowest, but he was still 1675 on Friday right before, um, you know, all that stuff happened. He's 173 right now. So he's, you know, he's about 50,000 coins ish, a little bit more than 50K expensive than what he was at his cheapest point. 
Does he go back above 1.8 mil out of packs? I do believe he does because there's so many people that want to buy this card. You know, I have so many people asking me, when do I buy De Young? Because people aren't doing the La Liga upgrade packs, right? They're not taking a chance at packing this card just because, you, you know, if you're doing the upgrade packs and you're trying to hit a team of the year, obviously your best chance and your best um, highest chance of, of hitting one of those cards is doing the Premier League upgrade packs. So not many people have packed this card just for the fact that, um, not many people are doing those upgrades. So I think this card could have a nice rise out of packs because so many people want it. There is one right there. 1739. Let's see how long it takes that to sell. 1739 for, uh, for De Young. And so many people want this card because they got to link their Messi somehow, right? Player of the Month Messi has an impact in this card because so many people have that Messi. So many people can afford the 900,000 coin gold Messi this year. So many people have PK, you know, they're running like a Semedo and PK formation in the back. They want to try this card out or stuff like that. So this one I do think has a decent opportunity to rise out of packs. I want to mention one other thing, and I've seen some people talking on Twitter about this. Um, PK, Pikelme, I think is his, is his ad on Twitter. Or at, yeah, PK18, I think maybe. TJ Moss is his name. Some of you guys might know him. One of my friends on Twitter um, and another trader in the community. He has mentioned, and I think he makes a good point, that monitoring the differences between the Xbox price and the PlayStation price is something to keep in mind because a lot of times the Xbox price can be more of a truer price um, than the PlayStation, but other times it works the other way as well. It's, it's kind of interesting to tell with these cards where each market values them, right? Because the Xbox has less amount of people on it. Technically then less buying power because there's just less people on the game, probably less FIFA points spent and stuff like that. Uh, and just less demand in general. So this, usually Xbox is cheaper than PlayStation for most things, not all the time, but most things. But sometimes you can read into differences between the PlayStation and the Xbox market because they're still similar in a sense. This difference here is one that has interested me. I thought that DeYoung should be around, more around the one six range, um, but it just goes to show how much demand there is for this card. So if you see this guy dip under 1.7, whatever panic, and I'm gonna get to talking about this in a second, uh, whatever panic we see today on Sunday, if, if there is anything, or, either, or late, early Sunday morning if you're watching this video and these guys are down like 30, 40, maybe even 100K from what they were, you might want to take some interest in acting, right? Messi is 475. He's been 46 uh, on Saturday. Friday, he was 467. So, and this is another one where there's a big gap, right? There's a big gap here between the PlayStation and between the Xbox. But I think this gap is almost warranted, right? I think that if you can find your Messi around 4.6 or under, that's a decent price here on P PlayStation. Just because I feel like the market wants that Messi and has more demand for that Messi than the Xbox does just because of how the markets are different. But regardless for a lot of the team of the years, I know this guy is somebody... Ooh, there's a nice undercut right there. Somebody going to bend that right away? Like a 10... Ooh, look at that. Like a 20K undercut, man. Getting binned right away. 175 most of them are at and that gets bought at 173 so people are on the market and people are watching these cards because they want to buy them so bad for their teams and they want to rock with them for a while which i get that right again i would just be careful will they rise out of packs possibly are they going to get panic sold for future stars i hope not they shouldn't because people now know that future stars are you know we kind of know what's coming right and i feel like if we would have any panic then i I don't, want, I don't understand why there would be panic for future stars because these cards are going to be so much better than those. Um, but I, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. I really don't know what's going to happen this next week if they're even going to do that promo. But for these cards, again, if you see, I think, if you want one of these cards for your team and you want to use it for at least a week or two, uh, I think you want to try to watch and see today on Sunday if there's any open bids, any panic. Let's say if they release a Pogba flashback SBC or some sort of flashback SBC that is that is doable right as they get kicked from the servers nice ggea um but any flashback sbc that is doable today i do think would be something to look into and something that you want to monitor especially if it's a pogba and it's very cheap and it's doable then maybe you see some of the midfielders get panic sold a little bit possibly not saying it's going to happen but that is something i think you could see and i want to take a look at the Eden hazard sbc as well that came out today um yeah so for the team of the year cards again watch the panic today you know if you want the absolute absolute lowest price i'm going to tell you right now you're not going to find it right now in the next two weeks these cards are probably going to go lower at some point during the year just because people like to panic sell and these cards actually have a decent supply on the market they really do um 
And I think a lot of people have packed them on tradable as well. So that just decreases the actual demand on the market for the tradable cards. Uh, so if you want the absolute, absolute lowest price for these team of the years, it's probably not going to come this week. There probably will be a point in the future, like maybe during icon moments. I could, believe it or not, I think there's a possibility that people will panic sell team of the years when the prime icon moments come out because of the fact that people were paying 15 million for prime icon Zidane and prime Ronaldo when last year they were like six and seven mil for the Ronaldo at least. And then the moments came out and the moments was 15 mil, but this year the, the prime was 15 mil. There's a lot, people are, EA has been very smart this year with their upper tier cards and they've gotten people used to paying massive amounts of money for some of these cards. And I think, especially with this year with prime moments icons, every single icon gets a prime moments you might see some panic on these team of the years, but that's not going to be until middle of February, right? So that's like a month or month and a half away until we see prime icon moments. Then you might see some more panic on the team of the years, just kind of putting that in your mind. If you, But if you want to buy a team of the year now and you want to use it, watch the prices today uh, for at least the next couple of weeks. I don't think the prices should change drastically too much. This SBC, I want to talk a little bit about this, and then we're going to talk about some possible investments heading out of this promo as well. Blues, Belgium, Premier League, 88 rated squad, and then 289 rated squads for player moments, Eden Hazard. And basically what this is, it's like a Hazard team of the season card. That's how I view it, right? Hazard's probably not going to get a team of the season this year. At least I don't think he, he would. He's been injured a bit. Uh, hasn't just ha He hasn't had a fantastic year at Real Madrid, but this is a card that has been a beast in the past. And I like that EA made this this challenge does not expire as far as I know. There's no expiration date listed. As you can see on all these other SBCs, there's expiration dates, and this one does not have an expiration date. So this is kind of an SBC that I think, if you want this SBC, you can start crafting it now. If you're doing upgrade packs, you can use your high rateds and, and put them into this. But this SBC, I think, is something I'm going to end up doing during team of the season because think about this. When we do upgrade packs during team of the season, and we pack duplicate team of the season cards that we rinse into other SBCs, kind of like we're doing now with high rated golds during team of the year that we pack. We're rinsing 92, 93, and sometimes 94 rated cards that get team of the season variants into these SBCs. That makes the 89 rated SBCs, the 88s, and stuff like that, the higher rated SBCs like these 89s. If you wait until team of the season to do this, I know that's a far way off. And if you want to use this card sooner rather than later, then you probably want to start chipping away at it now. But if this card doesn't really mean much to you and you, you know, you want to do this card eventually at some point in foot, just do it during team of the season. That's kind of my my aim with it. I'm probably going to end up doing it during team of the season. I might cover one of the 86 or 87 squads earlier now since I have untradeable players that I might throw into it just from opening upgrade packs. But uh, this is, to me, looks like a team of the season card. I don't need it for my team, to be honest. It would be cool, I guess, but I really don't need it. And it's right, it's right about 1.3, 1.4 million coins, which could go up because 89s are decently cheap right now. If we would get a mid icon SBC in the next couple of weeks, then I would presume that these would go up uh, because the 89s would probably be required for that, like we had with the base icon SBC. Um, but yeah, so that's my kind of thoughts on this card. I think it's weird that they made some of the track packs untradeable and they made some of the packs tradable. The first three are tradable and the second ones, the next three are untradeable, which is interesting. EA has been messing around with that. A lot of people don't like it. I understand why. Um, but yeah, so this is maybe something you craft during team this season, kind of put it away from your mind, in my opinion. Um, but this is going to, you know, people are going to try to craft this and this is going to be something that... It's like an icon SBC. It's going to have a little bit of demand. Some people are going to want to go do this, especially if Real Madrid starts winning in the Champions League and they're playing well. They're going to want to go do this SBC. And it's going to it's going to basically be an icon SBC for the matter that the icon or the high rated golds on this game are going to have a little bit of consistent and continuous supply. There's always going to be a little bit of supply for some of these high rated golds because of that SBC. And especially for this next week, the base icon um, and the other ones that have been out. I've, now I've done some of the SBCs, like I've done Bernardo Silva. Uh, I've almost done with flashback David Luiz. Um, there's another one. I think there's another one. Who was the other one? Luis Suarez player of the month is a new one that's out. So a lot of these SBCs are out right now. And since people are crafting upgrade packs, a lot of people are doing them, right? And that's why I think stocking the club with the high rated golds could be a good move. 
uh, this week. And I'm going to say do it probably today because a lot of people are going to start talking about this. What can we do on trading after this promo is over? What's going to rise after this promo? What's going to happen with future stars and stuff like that? I think that this week, it might be a decent opportunity to pick some of these cards up on bid. We're talking 86 is under 14K. 87s under 20,000 coins, which they are right now. 88s under 25 is fantastic. Uh, 89s, these are up a little bit today. I think people are doing hazard because these were like 31 or 32K. These are up a little. And then maybe if you, you can snag yourself a Ter Stegen closer to 40 if possible, that could be good. I think Modric ballooned today thanks to that SBC as well. Let me take a look at that really quick. 90 rated Modric. Yeah, he was 46K earlier today and he's boomed up to 55 thanks to that, um, that SBC. Uh, from Eden Hazard. So I think a club stock is a great thing to do right now. And if you want to buy more than one uh, and do more than a club stock and invest in these cards for their for their value and put a bunch of them on your transfer list, I would focus on the 85s and the 86s because those are the most consistently required ones. 85s at 8,000 coins for a lot of them are pretty good, especially if it's a prem or like a good league, good nation with the good links and stuff like that. But I'm probably going to be stocking a club with these uh, today on Sunday because I think that when all these promo packs stop and all the supply from people opening packs stops and more SBCs come out that these cards could rise. And I would even advise you if you can get on some of these bids, like, well, let's look at, uh, let's look at Rakitic. I might go club stock a few of these right now, to be honest, if they're actually 14,000 coins. And if they're not, then I'll maybe we'll try to snag one on bid. 14 K for Rakitic is not bad in my opinion. Boom. 13, five. I'll take that. Thank you. Maybe. Maybe, yay. Can I get the card? There we go. Boom. 13 and 5 for a Rakitic. Boom. I'm going to send that to the club. And I just club stocked a Rakitic card. And I'm not going to do any more of these because it's so slow. And who wants to watch the EA servers be very, very slow? Not me. We send that to the club right there. I think the 86s could easily be 16K by the end of the week. The 85s could easily be closer to 10K, especially if we get a good SBC today, right? If we get one good last good value, SBC today on Sunday, you might see more of these cards rise up uh, in price throughout this week because that'll just be more SBCs that people are going to be doing, right? This week, as we head into future stars, there's going to be nothing for people to technically do, right? There's not going to be much for people to sit down to actually do on the game, except for maybe some of these SBCs that have came out. Uh, and I, that's why I think this is a this is a solid investment. Stock in your club with a few of these is a solid investment, but focus on the 84s, 85s, and 86s and maybe a couple 87s as well because those are required the most for the SBC. So those are my thoughts on team of the years. Those are my thoughts on stuff that could be happening this week. Again, if you go and look, one way to tell if a card, like a, like a, a De Young, right? One way to tell if a card has a lot of demand, which this one does, is when he gets undercut by like small amounts. Like we just watched him get undercut at 1.7 at, okay, 1735. That's a that's a first owner. It's not fresh because somebody played a game with it. But this one is up and it's like a 10 or 15k undercut, it looks like. There's the 1749 and there's a 1735 uh, right here. Watch and see how quickly these small undercuts get bought. We watched a 20k undercut get bought insta with the shadow chem style. Um, so just watch that kind of stuff. And watching a card like this at the 59th, watching the open bids. And seeing how high the open bids go and how much people are willing to pay for an open bid is also very important. Like I might add this to my watch list and this might get bidded up over the actual buy now price just because people want the card that much. They're willing to pay for it because it's right in front of them and it's easy. Watching and see the, the demand, how often the undercuts come up and how quickly they get bought can really be a good indicator of how much demand a card has and how many people want to buy it. Therefore, how much it could rise out of packs. So just think about that as you're looking at these cards. But I think De Young, out of all the team of the years, De Young, Messi, Mbappe, and possibly Van Dyke and Ronaldo would be the ones that I think would be rising out of packs the most. And I throw Ronaldo in that bunch because um, this card is just demanded. It, it's so high. The demand for this card is literally so high. 6.8. I think I went down too low. He's right now 6.85 mil. He was 6.7 at one point earlier today. Um, buy it now. Boom, there's one with a bid. I, I bet this one here with the open bid of 6.7 gets bought as well. I think this card could be over 7 million coins literally next week, possibly. Uh, this could bring some hype back to Ronaldo's name, as you guys know. Hasn't been used a ton in this FIFA. It hasn't been as quote unquote good as in years past, but I think this card uh, could bring him some hype. So those are my thoughts on team of the years. Hopefully we get a big time SBC today, like a Pogba. 
Pogba be like, cap off this promo with a Pogba, please, EA. Hazard's okay. This Marcelo was not the best. Bernardo Silva was fantastic, right? Dava Luiz, okay. Give us one more flashback SBC today that is good value. Juice the card and don't make it too crazy expensive like you did Hazard today, all right? That's all that I'm asking from EA Sports, all right? Thank you. And please do that for us. If you guys are still ripping these upgrade packs like I am, good luck. Send me your blues on Twitter. If you send, if you get pictures of them, send me those pictures, of course. That link is down below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below, of course, if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new, all right? It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.